Hey guys, welcome to another Unity 5 tutorial today and this is going to be showing you basically how to move scenes in Unity 5.3 and above. I had an old tutorial that you might see on the channel but I'll uh, link to it and it was showing you how to do the old version to move scenes and you need to use something called scene management and we will do that simply in a couple of lines. So, and in the basic scene what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the main camera and I'm just going to throw a first person controller into the scene. So now when we go into the game view we'll be able to just walk around a little bit. And you can bring that in by going to your um, standard assets, characters, and bringing it in, right click, um, import custom, and then characters. Right here, so we've got a scene, and we need to be able to do a way to move a scene. This could be any number of ways, but the most common way probably is to walk into a collider. So what you can do is you can create a, a cube, or whatever you want is game object, uh, 3D object, and cube. But I'm just going to duplicate the cube I already have. So I'm just going to duplicate my cube by pressing Ctrl D. And I'm just going to bring it in front of the other cube a little bit. And I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. So this is going to be the cube that we're going to use as the trigger. We're going to go on this side and you can see on the box collider, we'll set to is trigger. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start by writing um, the script because we set it to his trigger so we'll be able to walk into it and trigger it. So we'll choose C sharp script and call this move scene. We'll double click and open that up in Mono Develop or Visual Studio, depending on what you have. What I'll do is I'm gonna get rid of the two um, methods that start off. So we've got um, the, the first cl initial class that we're gonna use. So when you want to use it, you're gonna to want to start by writing at the top when we're gonna to want to use some sort of collections, we're gonna be using Unity engine dot scene management with the semicolon, then we can access the collections that are there so we can do that type of thing. So from here we can say void on trigger enter, then we can write um, collider and other, and then below here we can then by saying that if other dot compare tag is in brackets in quotes of those brackets we'll say player then below here we'll add two more curly brackets and then we'll say um, scene manager dot load scene open brackets and then we can say something like we can write our own variable called load level but I will write, we'll create a variable first for that so what we'll do inside here, just above the actual method that we created, we'll call this, we'll start by writing a private string load load level with a semicolon. Because that's private, we want to be able to see it in the inspector, but we don't need it to be public because we don't need any other script to access it. So we'll put in square brackets, serialize field before it, and that just means that it's going to be visible in the inspector. We need to write what we're looking for in there. So we'll write load level, and then we just want to add a semicolon on the end. So all we're doing is writing a simple on trigger enter. We're looking for um, the other type of collider, we're saying that if the thing that collides with the trigger that we've got, then we'll load up whatever scene we need to. So what we'll do is we'll go into here. We will select our um, trigger. We will add our move cube there. You can see that we can write in whatever level that we're going to want to go to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save out this scene. So save scene as. And what we're going to do is we're going to save this as. We'll save this at level 1. And you can see it is there and we can see level one at the top there. What I'll do is I'm gonna duplicate level one and then it's gonna automatically increment that to level two. So what we then need to do is go file, build settings and add level one and add level two in there. And what we can do from there is select back on your trigger that we're gonna be able to collide with and then we move scenes. You're gonna to want to write level two as it's spelled in the project panel down here. So we can say level two. What I will do uh, inside level two, I'll double click it and I'll press uh, save. So it saves out level one. Level two, I don't want to have that trigger. We'll make this box really tall so we can obviously see that we've moved to another scene. So we'll go back into level one by double click it and then we'll press save. 
So now we're in level one again. We've got our trigger with our simple script. But one one thing to mention before we test this is if you click on your FPS controller and it doesn't have an auto, a tag of player, that might be something that you're having an issue with. So if we press play, you can see that this is our trigger here. Now we run into that and we move to our next scene. So that simple script just allows us to move with the scene manager load scene and the level that we're going to call we just have to use the unity collection reference up at the top um, to get some things that we need to and all it is it you can put it on the trigger you can do it in a start function you can do it however you need to but that's just a simple way to move to another scene as long as you've got it in your build settings and your player is actually tagged player so thanks very much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers